Like, I thought I was a two. You thought you were a two? Yeah. So I was fucking the grossest guys. And I fucked some hot guys, and I was shocked that I fucked them. But, yeah, so, no, I was, I was, just, I, it, it, I was just going crazy. And then I met this, like, guy online, and he's like, um, do you want to come out with me and my cousin? We're going to go to um, – we're going to go to a, uh, we're going to go have drinks and we'll take you out. And I'm like, yeah, okay, let's do this. This guy and his cousin? This guy and his cousin. Okay. So I went and I met up with them. And then um, w- the guy was like littler. Not like, he's probably like 5'9 or something. Gross. And then, yeah, gross is right. I'm 6'1. <laughs> yeah. It's disgusting. Yeah. You're 6'1? <laughs> I'm 6'1. Wow. Yeah, that's why it's, I also like tall, chubby, bearded guys. So. Tall because of the 6'1. Yeah. 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 So anyway, so this guy, and then his his cousin was there, and he was a big guy, like six five, built like a big guy, and I'm like, oh, his cousin's hot. Yeah. So I was like, oh, this is cool, like this will be fun. And this, we were at a, a Boston pizza because <laughs> yeah. I go classy when I go on dates. <laughs> but yeah, those in America too. Yeah. What is that noise? I don't know. They can't hear it on okay. on mic though. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> okay. So anyway, so then I went to this Boston pizza with these guys. And we got wasted. I was having a good time. It was fun. Like, we were just yeah. having fun. You got wasted at Boston Pizza? We got pretty drunk there. <laughs> White trash. That's my Edmonton. life. I, seriously. Like, I got, I've been wasted at Boston Pizza this is in Edmonton? numerous times. Yeah, in Edmonton. I mean, I've been to Boston Pizza to sober up. <laughs> Cause like, ugh, it's the only no, thing I'm white trash. I went to Boston Pizza to get drunk. So anyway, so I never I'm, understood like TGR Fridays and stuff. I'm like, who's at the bar? We're all here to eat. <laughs> white who's trash. Say, who's here to like, socialize? <laughs> white trash is at the bar. Applebee's and Boston Applebee's, Pizza. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, so then then they were like, um, oh, let's go to this bar in in uh, Sherwood Park, which is like sort of like a suburb of Edmonton. They're like, oh, let's go to this bar in Sherwood Park, and uh, I was like, yeah, sure, let's go. This is fun. You buy me drinks, and this is fun. Yeah. So then we get to the bar and um, they kept buying me drinks and like feeding me drinks and like just I was just like and I can hold my booze like I would be really hard to get super wasted drunk so I can really hold my booze and I remember going to the bathroom at one point and like calling my friend and be like I don't know where I am I'm with these I'm like so drunk I don't know where I am and then he was like do you want me to come get you? And I'm like, I don't even know where I am for you to come get me. But just so you know, I don't know where I am. And he was like, okay, well, now I'm worried. And I'm like, I'm fine. So then, like... Just bomb drunk somewhere in Edmonton. Bomb drunk. And, like, I was so wasted. And then I don't even know if they put anything in my drinks. Like, I know girls always say that. They're like, I was so drunk last night. I'm like, no, you were just a liquor pig last night. <laughs> like, oh, yeah. you were yeah, drinking a lot. Yeah, somebody must have slipped something to me. It's like, yeah. take some responsibility. Yeah, some of you it was you. had nine drinks. Yeah. I had a lot of, I had a lot of drinks. So it could have just been, like, I was fucking wasted. But I did feel like I didn't have any control over myself anymore. And then I remember they're like, okay, well, let's go. And I'm like, where are we going? And they're like, we'll just go somewhere else. You and felt like, like you didn't have any control over yourself? What yeah, I mean? didn't feel, because, like, they walked me out. Yeah. Like, I was just holding on to them. They walked me out. And you were just trying to stay up? Yeah. Yeah. Like, it was, like, so, like, weird. So then they're like, I'm like, well, where are we going? And they're like, oh, don't worry. Don't worry. And then we're, like, driving in the country. Really? Yeah. We're, like, driving in the country. And I'm like, where are we going? We're just like, oh, we're just going to his place. He just lives just around here. We show up at an acreage. You know what an acreage is? Today? Field. No, it's, a, it's like a house. Like, it's like a farm without animals. You know what I mean? Like, it's a big... Yeah. There's nothing around you. It's just a house and forest. And that's where you live? I guess. Yeah. <laughs> so we went in there and I the, the whole time I was just like this is a this is bad. I've like completely fucked up. Like You thought about that? Yeah. I remember thinking I'm going to die tonight. I was like I'm going to die. They're going to murder me. I'm going to be one of those little girls on the news. Yeah. My mother's going to be like crying on the traumatized. News, saying, Please find my child. Yeah, like it's I'm like I fucked up. I knew I'd fucked up. And then I started feeling like, okay, well, I'm not going to tight. If they give me anything else, I'm not taking it. I'm not going to scream. I'm not going to struggle. I'm just going to hope that they don't try to kill me. Yeah. <laughs> so I like, it's not like I realized I'm going to get raped soon. I just realized that I was in a lot of you fucking like trouble. Position. I did not like, like there was no cell phone reception. Like I checked my phone. Nothing. Oh. It was scary. It was really fucking scary. And so we went into the living room and we were just sitting there and they're like, do you want more, another drink? I was like, no. And they're like, what do you want? I'm like, I kind of want to go. And they were like, why do you want to go? We just got here. And they're like, don't you want to party? And I'm like, I'm partied out. I'm like, I kind of want to go. And then, uh, and then uh, the little guy left the room, and then the big guy started, like, grabbing me and stuff. What do you mean? Like, boobs? grabbing my boobs and, like, putting his hand on my shirt. And then he, like, started to try to kiss me. I'm like, I don't really want to do this. I'm just, I just want to leave. And they were like, 
And then he's just like, he's like, no, you probably, I think you want to do it. Like, it sounds so cliche, but this is what rapists say. They're like, no, this is what you want. Like you came out with us. This is what you wanted to do. Isn't this what you thought was going to happen? Like, what do you think he was trying to convince himself? I don't know what he was trying to do. Or just convince you to like, no, no, you're fine. Yeah, maybe, maybe he was trying to make me like not freak out. Yeah. But then I've done that on a small scale with someone like not even girls necessarily, but when they're like, Oh, I don't know if I want a girl. I'm like, Yes you do. You came here for this. Come on. And they're like, All right. But not in sex, like not just in, in sex, like going yeah. to a bar yeah. or something. Like, I don't know if I want to go in the bar and drink. No, yeah, you do. Why are you here? Yeah. But that's what it felt like. And then he was like and then he was like he's like, You wanna do something? And then he's like, Just lie down and I was so I was just, just I was just like I was just like, I'm just gonna do whatever he says because I'm big, like I'm six one and an undetermined weight, but <laughs> but I'm like I can handle my own. But this guy was bigger, like yeah. way bigger than me, and like uh, so I was just like I'm just in my head. I'm just like I'm just gonna do whatever he wants me to do because I'm not gonna fight him off. Yeah, I don't want to. Like I was scared he's gonna beat me up. I was scared that he was gonna cut like kill me. Like I was in an acreage. They could have killed me and buried me that night. Like it would have been super easy if that's the kind of people they were. But anyway, so then he's just like, then he just like started like taking my clothes off and then he just started fucking me. I'm like, I really don't want to do this. And then he's like, you, he, I don't even remember what he said. As he was remember, fucking you, you were saying that? I was like, I, I remember saying no quite often. Yeah. <laughs> I wasn't saying, yeah, fuck me harder. I was like totally not into it. Yeah. <laughs> freaked out. And I remember crying. I don't understand how a guy can fuck a girl when she's crying. My first when I lost my virginity, the girl cried. Yeah, but that's pain crying. Yeah. Well, like pain as in like she, you know, it's not like emotional crying. I think she was crying because she thought it was beautiful. She was finally <laughs> losing her virginity. <laughs> Do you? Like, uh, uh, uh. <laughs> yeah. I think I was hoping it was because I was so big. But she yeah. was like, no, it's because it's really, it's an emotional moment. And I was like, god damn oh, it. Oh, fuck. Just I wish it was because I was a big dick. Um, so you were crying because you didn't want to be there. Yeah, I was freaked out. I thought I was going to die. Where was the little one at this time? He then came in, and then he was like, then he like started going at me and hold stuff on, like hold that. Hold on, So the first one fucked you? Yeah, yeah. Condom? I don't even remember. I don't. I doubt it. Probably not. I doubt it. Do you know if he came inside you or? or? I don't. I like it's really because I was really drunk. Yeah. And I like I don't remember anything like super specific about anything. Mm-hmm. And yeah, so then he came, and then the little guy came, and then the little guy fucked me. <laughs> what, like he, you were still just lying there. Yeah, I just didn't. I didn't know what to do. So the one guy. Because like, if you. I even if I fought them off, where was I gonna go? Yeah, yeah, yeah. There was not a house for like miles. Like I was in the middle of nowhere. So I was like, what? Like, yeah. So it was just like, what the fuck? So I just did that, and then they were both done, and then they were just like, okay, well, let's go now. And I was like, okay. <laughs> I'm like, what am I supposed to say? Thanks. Like, yeah. I didn't know what to say. And then, <laughs> this is a super dark story, I know, but it does have a little it's bit right. of a yeah. funny ending <laughs> because they took me out for breakfast after. Oh. They were like, okay, let's go for breakfast. And I like was like, prom. yeah. I was like, uh, okay, yeah. So I'm like, all gross and somewhere <sighs> at breakfast at a place called Humpty's, which is just beautiful. We ate there, right? Did I think we, we ate there? at a Humpty's once. I don't know if we went there or we were just going driving by. Yeah, but there's Humpty's all over Alberta. Okay. Full of rape victims in the morning. Wait, so they bought you breakfast or did you yeah. have to buy your own? No, they bought me breakfast. What'd you order? I don't remember. Oh. <laughs> did you I eat? Got, I, I don't know. Probably. I like, I like to eat. Yeah. <laughs> it, it makes me happy. So I probably did eat because it made me like, fuck you. I'm going to order extra bacon because you guys just fucking <laughs> raped me. Were you talking to them at all? Yeah, I was just, like, so freaked out. But to be honest, the whole time, I'm like, well, that was my fault. Like, really? I wasn't raped. I just was like, I made a stupid fucking decision, and that was... T- I totally deserved that. I actually thought that. I'm like, no, no, no. Yeah. No, like, yeah, I fucked up. That was my punishment for fucking well, up. with crime, it's like if I go out in a nice neighborhood, and I have a suit on, and my, I have a lot of money on me. Yeah. If I get robbed, I mean, it is his fault for robbing me, but a part of me is going to be like, what am I doing? Why would I go with $300 in yeah. a neighborhood like that? Yeah. Well, no, I like, I do... I take responsibility for being stupid. Yeah. But I don't think... I. Like, and I always thought for long, like, I never reported this. I didn't tell anybody for years. I told one of my boyfriends when we first started going out, just, I'm like, just so you know, like, but I'm like, I'm not freaked out about sex. I actually probably, it's probably, (laughs) I don't know, maybe more slutty or I get drunk and and tell comics I'll blow them. You're already slutty. (laughs) (laughs) Now I'm super slutty because I get drunk and I tell comics that I'll blow them and then I don't do it. (laughs) I don't do it. 
Um, uh, wow. So did they? Do you remember if they tried like different? They don't try different positions, do they? I don't remember. They were like, like let's do it was just like, now. what are you going to do? Like, tell me to bend over? Yeah. Like, no, I just laid there until he came. It had to be. That had to be the worst fuck ever, too. Like, it can't be. I laid there and cried.